Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the penitent life of a felon. Back here at Corpus Christi, it's a Sunday, cruising. Beautiful weather out there, by the way. I know it's been cold these last few days, huh? Finally cleared up around two. Man, I call it that wet cold, man. It's kind of nasty, but you know what, man? I've really gotten used to it, man. I really have. Because I know the last time that, that sun came out, I was like, man, it felt kind of warm. I wasn't even used to it. Yeah. I was used to this cool weather, man. Yeah, man, we're just here, man, uh, joy riding. Did my runs earlier, made my quota, made my lick. <laughs> Chunking some up to the stock market. Psh, tell oh, you, man, yeah. How's that got going? invest. It's just barely starting again, man, really. It's really starting again. I know the first time, like, it was about a year ago, man, I kind of invested in, um, it wasn't even that much, man. It's like less than 100 bucks, but I kind of got, disc not discouraged, impatient. I got impatient because I seen the stocks going down like big time. Like, damn, I'm losing, you know. But that shouldn't discourage you. That's the way it's going to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, you just got to let it sit for long term, you know. I wasn't even in it for three months, you know what I mean? And I was just, you know, but I was playing with it. I mean, that's, that's how you learn. You, you get your feet wet, you get in there, and you learn, you know. You just got to be patient with it, you know what I mean? Like Warren Buffett, you know. Yeah. You know, he goes for the long haul, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody once told me, one of my recent writers told me, man, uh, he quoted Warren Buffett saying, um, you know, if you're not willing to set your mind on five years on a stock, then don't do not do it. You know what I mean? You know, but, you know, that goes back to the fact that today, man, we live in a, in a day in a day and of age and in, in a day day and age that we want everything now. You know? oh, yeah. And we do. You know what I mean, like we want it now. We want to put that hundred bucks and get back a thousand. Yeah. It don't work like that, man. At least, you know, at least not in three months or well, depending on the stock you're doing. But, yeah. but that, of course, requires a lot of more research. But, um. Anyhow, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you know. I'm trying to shoot a little percentage of my gains, man, to the, you know, invest it, let it grow, man, you know. What do you think about the workforce thing? Something like that. Yeah, the workforce, yeah, that I wanted, that's what this video is about. I know we shot one yesterday, but I was kind of preoccupied, you know, we were working, but um, I really wanted to talk about this, uh, you know, really so much that I even printed out an article, man, from the Harvard Business Review because uh, this is one of my passions because you know this is something that I've gone through and I'm going through even now and I'm pretty sure many many of you are going through and have gone through or will go through you know yeah. it's just you know I meditate on stuff like this because it's real you know what I mean it's really something that happens every day behind the scenes and all these uh, places of employment you know what I mean organizations and businesses this one's titled what's making you miserable at work man I mean, I'm really passionate about that, really, though, man, because, like I said, I have an MBA, and I already, I've already grown to, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm streetwise, you know, for those of you who've read my biography in the, you know, in the about section and YouTube, you know, I've ran the streets, you know, I've done drugs, I've done time, you know, I went to school, you know, I've got my MBA, uh, now, I've been in the workforce for over... 14 years you know I feel like I have the authority you know what I mean and experience to speak now you know what I mean but anyways the point is is um you know I've you know I've walked off the job several times you know what I mean but that comes from the fact that not only because because I was institutionalized you know what I mean because I know normal people do it right I know I call them normal people <laughs> like we're you know I guess because you know what's, what's best for you because you know how it, it could get sometimes it is good for you just to walk away sometimes from a situation it is, man sometimes not all the time is. but sometimes it's good sometimes. at that time if you know how you are you know what i mean it's best just to walk out because you still got that early mindset that that young mindset you know what i mean so it, it's best deep. for you just to walk away from the situation not that you're walking away from the problem right. but you're walking away from the situation before it comes a problem right that, that that's pretty deep what you just said you know because i like to probe see me it's like I, I like to probe into things you know what i mean i like to like dig deep yeah. And to figure out, like, what you just says, like, yeah, that was true because I was still immature in my mind. Because when I got out, I got out when I was 28, right? So I was still stunted in growth because when I went in, I was only seven, 16, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't even have a job, a regular job, you know what I mean? I didn't know what it was to hold down a job and pay bills. But I wanted to do that. I remember there was a time where I wanted to do that, you know what I mean? But anyways, life took me another way. So my point is, let me get back. I don't want to, you know, lose my train of thought. Um, so I was still stunted in growth, 
I'm still fresh out. I'm still young too. You know what I mean? I'm only 28. You know what I mean? I'm still, to me, that's, well, because I'm 46 now, but I'm 28 back then. No real skills. You know, I didn't really get a chance to get any real, uh, what do you call those skills? Um, traits. Words. Yeah, traits. There you go. That's the, the right word I was looking for. So, you know, I got lucky enough to go into a print shop or, well, you know what? I take that back. I did learn a, the, the, the print shop trade up you know when i was locked up and that's that was a good that's a good skill you know what i mean that's a good uh you know they pay good you know especially up in austin i'm talking about real good back then it was like 20 bucks an hour but you know but you know what in this article let me try to brief this article you know it's basically talking about like if you're in a place and a, and a company that you you love but you're just personally getting burned out you know, try to work, you know, with your coworkers or your higher ups, your managers and tell them, hey, you know, I want to continue to work here, but I want to step up or I want to move to a different department. You know what I mean? But of course, that's going to require different skills. It just depends, you know, but you can all, everybody's always trainable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The way I see it is like, you know, nowadays they're always looking for somebody with five years experience, 10 years experience. And it's like, it always puts you like, like how am I ever going to get that without starting? You know what I mean? My belief is that, you know what, if you train me and show me, I can do it. Anybody can do anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I'm trying to talk about this and trying to quit at the same time because those I think those two go hand in hand. Because, matter of fact, there's a sentence in here talking about consider doing that, you know, without walking off the job, without quitting, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's funny because right now, like, I'm kind of going through that, you know what I mean? It's like I'm getting burned out of the what I do now because I feel like I've already reached my height like I've, I've already done how can I put it without sounding um like to me I've done like miracles you know I mean like I've already reached peak like man I've filed these you know hectic pleadings lawsuits and I've, I've just everything's just the same to me now you know what I mean it's just a rut you know what I mean it's like man same old same old I already know what to do I'm already like burned out I mean like I like to grow you know what I mean I like to do different things you know, it's just a lot of things going on behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Let me get away from this truck, man. He's making too much noise. Um, yeah, there's many things going on behind the scenes, man. You're not only dealing with uh, the rut, the doldrums, the burnout. You know, you're having to deal with other personalities, you know what I mean? Bullies or, I call them bullies, but just nitpickers, you know what I mean? Like haters, that's, Jealousy, that's the word. <laughs> envy, all Envy, hey, yeah. It's like you gotta fight all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're doing all this, you go to work, man. Sometimes it's a battle, man, and it is a battle. But you know what, why do you get up? You get up because, you know, you gotta pay bills. You gotta feed your, your, your family, you know what I mean? You got kids, babies, you know, you got people that are depending on you, man. Yeah. You know, but but um, but sometimes, let me just say this, man. Um, I mean, if you can, think about it, hold tight, and just, you know, sometimes too, man, like, sometimes it's that one moment that you're so, stressed out that you want to just walk out yeah but just hold on you know what i mean like me that happened to me the other day you know it's like man, just hold on it's just today that's going on i mean tomorrow's gonna be a better day just hold off man you know it's gonna be better you know you just gotta overcome that that pressure you know what i mean yeah you just gotta be strong man it's like i said it's just it's just a cycle man you know what i mean it's not yeah. gonna last forever you know what i mean it's just but sometimes though at the other you know on the other hand it's like some there's some there's some places that are so what they call hostile work environments you know what i mean and you know a lot of and i think a big percentage of of that are like women you know what i mean because i've read a lot i've read like i've read so much laws in prison I, you know i remember cases where some of the women you know they go through harassment hostile work environment sexual harassment now that you know now that you know that's something that you know you have to decide hey you know how am i going to approach this am i going to continue to endure it or am i going to go through the chain of command to make a case you know what i mean which you can you know and you can win money in the federal court you know because that's a federal that's a federal that's federal civil you know what i mean yeah. uh, but yeah man um sometimes though i mean it's just like a relationship you know what i mean like when you work somewhere it's like a relationship you know what i mean we've heard the story like you know, I'm married to this law firm, you know, because it is, it's like, you're, 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 it's like a relationship, you know what I mean? You can't, you know, once you get in there, you got, you learn all these people's personalities, the way they, you know, how to, how they work, what, what makes them tick, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all, it's, it's a lot of work, man. You know, it's not just going in there doing your work, you know, you got to just, you got to, it's, it's, it really is a lot, you know, you got to be prepared, like how are you going to eat that day? 
so you can function well, you can be positive, you know, you just, you know, it's just the way it is, man, um, but, but no, I mean, it's a battle, and it really is a battle, man, going into work, dealing with everybody's personalities, yeah. walking into that, you yeah. don't know what kind of day, we know what kind of day we're having, but you got like right, 10, 15 right. other people there, you don't know what kind of day they're having, what they're going right, to bring to the right, door, right, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. and sometimes they, I don't know why, man, they like to pick the one that looks or looks the most aggressive that way they can get a really good reaction out of them or something yeah but they they do it man they they try to like i guess i don't know they judge a they judge you i don't know before you get there or something yeah um, yeah they feel judge threatened they feel covered. threatened by you because of the, they know how you look but you're mm-hmm. a good worker mm-hmm. they get jealous of what you, you can bring mm-hmm. to the table Right, you know, you can outshine them, you know, yeah. I mean? and you don't tend to. Yeah, that's just the way you are, you know. What I mean, this is what you do. You're you're skilled up. You built. You went to school. You've learned all this over the years, and you know, you're just good. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but that reminds me too, though. Like, let's say let's say you do leave your job and you go somewhere else. You don't know how that place is gonna be. You know, it could yeah. be worse. Yeah. You know, that's my. Uh, I don't want to say the word fear, but my unknown is like, man. Okay, this place sounds more lucrative it's more it sounds uh you know they pay more or whatever but man you never know who you know you yeah. never know man it might be a, a you know somebody worse which you know and i you know how can i put it? it's like i hate to put people out there like that because you know what me personally or anybody i can be like that but i'm not you know what i mean that's not yeah. my nature man yeah. i can fire back and be the same way but I, I just i don't like doing that you know what i mean yeah. i don't i don't like to fight like that it's just dumb it's 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 you learn to, it, to you learn by experience that it's just a waste of time, and I got bigger things going on. Yeah, I don't got time to be dealing with your with your circus is, right now. Dude, it's childish, man. It's yeah. not about making money. It's just, it's just, and it just surprises me, man, how some some of these supposed higher educated people or more professional, or they've been doing this for years, they still act like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what? You know? <laughs> I, see, I feel like sometimes they 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 in in their head they feel like they can act like that because of the position they're in. Or because of the title they have, so they can they they can do that. They yeah. they like, they can get away with it. Is yes. it right for them to do it? No, but they feel like why well, yeah. get away with it? Because seniority or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean. Let me say this. Now sometimes, no, not sometimes. You have to. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down too, like, professionally. Yeah. And I've done it a couple of times. There was people a couple, you know, a couple of places that I've worked. You know, people they they kind of like. You know, they do their thing to try to pick at you or whatever. And you know, and you know it's frivolous shit, you know what I mean? Or they're not thinking, like, they don't they don't realize, like, hey, you know, this dude, you know. Or they don't, like, how can I put it, like. Like, for example, you make a stupid mistake, right? It's not even a mistake. It's, a, it's an oversight, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they make a big thing out of it, right? But they don't realize, hey, this, this dude's done so much stuff, you know what I mean? Like, damage, like, miracles. But they want to dwell on that. Yeah. But. There's been times, there's been a couple of times where, you know, I've been fed up with, you know what, I'll fire back with an email professionally, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like respectfully, the way I know I'm good with words, and I'll put them in their place like, hey, hold up, man, you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to rem- let them know, hey, you know what, we ain't here to, you know what I mean? We're not here to play games, you know what I mean? We're here to, you know, get along, you know, uh, do business, make money, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's even people that say, you know, we're not here to make friends, which, okay, I can understand that concept, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you could be friendly. I mean, you ain't gotta be friends, but we could be friendly. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah, no. Um, you know, I mean, I'll just you know, hopefully, I say something here that somebody will really take heed. You know, um, I think the the gist of this whole thing is, or what I hope people would take is, you know, if you're going through something right now, don't just quit. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, the heat of the pressure is at that moment. You know what I mean? Just get through it through the day. When you leave home. You know, just maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Like, I, 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 how can I put, I don't want to throw you out there, but I know you, uh, you know, or even, even me, you know, I've gone through it, you know what I mean? Are you putting but it I just, there? That way they know what, where we're coming from, what we're yeah, talking about. We ain't like, just talking you know, out of our ass. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, life of a felon, you know what I mean? He, he's, he experiences that, you know what I mean? But he continues, you know, and I really respect that, man, because he continues to go back to work, man, and, and, you know, just continues to go back to work and just, you know, I want to say the word fight, you know what I mean? Or just gotcha. play the mind games they play, you know? And that's another thing, you know what I mean? You don't want to let them to win, you know what I mean? Because they're, like, in their mind, they're beating you because they're fucking with you, right? Yeah. And then when if you quit, 
shit, they won. Yeah. You know, and that's another way I see it too. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna let these people win. You know what I mean? And I've taken it to the, to, I've taken it to the, to further than that. Oh, I've yeah, taken yeah. it to where I've pulled out a knife on someone mm. because of how how angry I got for disrespecting me, knowing that I've been nothing but respectful. But you want to play, see what kind of person I am, and want yeah. to show you. But you know what? You have a defense to that. You know why I do? Because it's like, it's like this. When I talk, I don't want to get out of subject, but just when you say things, it triggers like other memories, like other other um, experiences, experiences or, or associations with other memories that I have. It's like, like in, like in the criminal law, right? Like like let's say for example, like in family violence, like you know, like a woman kills her husband. Well, she's not gonna just kill her husband. You know what I mean? It's out of the blues, because behind the doors. Her husband's been mistreating her, you know what I mean, for all these years, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of like like similar, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You build up to a pressure point, like, man, your boiling pot, it's like it's been boiling for so long, like, you know, you just flip, dude. But there's other topics on that, too, you know what I mean? You got That's why you, what I've learned is you got to be able to communicate, to ventilate, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you talk about it, you talk about it, you ventilate, you let it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's what you do, you know, because sometimes I can be like, what is the word? Um, I could be quiet and let it simmer too, but I got to learn to communicate. That's one of my weak spots a little bit. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even like writing them email because I don't feel like like I'm weak. You know what I mean? But you got to let it go. Like, hey, man, look, remember, I've done all this and I've done all this. And you're just, you know, you're sweating the small stuff. Yeah. But when I did that email, it's kind of like it really changed, man. It really put them in their place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let them know, hey, you know what? I'm not the one, dude. You know what I mean? And, and it's good to, to do that because that's, that's the thing with me is I'm not usually like a big talker or, or trying to make someone be reasonable with me. But now that as I'm as you get older and you, you have a lot more responsibilities, you learn to pull the person aside yeah. five or six different times and let them know respectfully, but they don't get it. Yes. And it, so you got to, it, it brings you to that point where it's like one more, one more time and then that's it. And, yeah. and, it, and it, it's gotten to that point and then after that you're like damn what did i do i gotta remember that mm -hmm. i got resp responsibilities now you know i'm not i'm not a kid no more mm -hmm. you know what i mean but i've and i've been so like blessed for situations not to go that way because it could have been reported or whatever you know what I mean? yeah that could have been something man but um but you know that reminds me too uh about communication i read something a long time ago